some humans are known to be more sentimental than others. But that doesn't mean we don't like holding on to a bunch of stuff we never really need. This elderly couple kept a lot of unique items in their garage that made them potentially rich. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose. Like and share this video with your friends. Uh, one day, when the police were called to their home, they had low expectations. What they didn't know, though, is that this suburban couple was just putting up a facade. They were surprised to find out who the couple actually were deep down. Our story revolves around Pierre and Danielle Leganek. On the outside, they seemed like any other normal couple. They had been together for decades and seemed to live a happy and peaceful life in their hometown. However, underneath this harmless facade they put up, they were actually hiding something far more sinister. Nobody would have expected that this innocent couple would be capable of something like it. Back in the early 70s, Pierre had a job that a lot of people would have wanted to do. You see, Pierre worked as a personal electrician to Picasso. Yes, we're talking about the world-renowned artist Pablo Picasso. Although Picasso was born in Malaga, Spain, he spent most of his adult life in France. In fact, he even passed away in Mugen, France. Anyway, Pierre spent his days toiling away in Picasso's French villa. It was a job he couldn't really complain about. Pierre liked his job because he liked being in close proximity to greatness. After all, Picasso was well-respected and co-created an art style with Georges Brock that would eventually be embedded in art history forever. Yes, we're talking about Cubism. Picasso was also famous for the Blue Period when he made essentially monochromatic artworks that were in shades of blue and blue-green. So you see, Pierre couldn't really complain. By the time Pierre was working for Picasso, he was already a famous artist. His grandson, Olivier Widmer Picasso, was so proud of his granddad that he claimed his late relative was the first rock star in the artist world. Of course, our family members are almost always biased, but Olivier's comment was rather close to the truth. This was evident in his fame and in the sales. Did you know that Picasso's painting La Femme d'Alger, version O, sold for an astounding amount of $179,365,000 at an auction? This is the painter's most expensive painting ever sold. It was part of the series Les Femmes d'Alger. We shouldn't be judging or based on how much it's worth on the market. After all, art is subjective, but there are also objective methodologies included in it. Anyway, let's go back to Pierre Le Guenec. Let us go back to one of this story's protagonists, Pierre. In 2010, he confessed that Picasso had given him an extensive collection of his work. Of course, everyone was surprised upon hearing this. People were curious as to why Picasso had given so much of his valued artwork to this person. Some were skeptical about whether this was true or not. But what the couple would do next set off a crazy chain of events. Out of their own confidence, the Leganex decided to contact Picasso's son, Claude Ruiz Picasso, and ask him if he would be willing to authenticate their collection as genuine artworks, which didn't make any sense. If they claimed it was a gift from Picasso himself, why would they need to have it authenticated? Anyway, as soon as Claude found out, he was immediately suspicious because of one detail that was just off. Unlike us people, Claude was related to Pablo Picasso, so he knew details that we simply would have not known about. When the famed painter's son examined the artwork, he noticed one simple thing. None of the works was signed or dated. This immediately raised Claude's suspicions. He knew his father. And he also knew Pablo always signed and dated paintings that he gave away as gifts. There was something about this elderly couple's story that wasn't making sense. For many days, Claude was distraught. It just didn't make sense why his father would give away his artwork without signing or painting it, even though that was something he has always done from the beginning. Then Claude decided to go with his gut feeling and approach the police. This poor elderly couple had no clue about what was coming their way, Sadly, they were going to be in for a horrible surprise. Fast forward to three days later, after Claude approached the police, they showed up at the couple's residence. After looking around, the cops discovered all of the artwork stored in the elderly couple's garage. So the cops opened up the garage door and slowly hauled all of the artwork out of the house. They were now officially under police investigations, and the accusations were much more serious than anybody had expected them to be. Throughout the whole investigation, the couple stood by their previous claim. All of the artwork they had was nothing but a kind gift from Pablo Picasso himself. They denied having stolen the artwork. According to them, 
Instead of stealing expensive and valuable pieces of art, these were merely a gift as a thank you for the years of service. They would have been believable if it weren't for another fact. People involved in this case were surprised to learn about what kind of artworks the couple had in their possession. Some of the pieces confiscated dated back to Picasso's Blue Period, which lasted from 1901 to mid-1904. Aside from those, there were also cubist collages, lithographs, and sketchbooks that dated all the way back to 1900 until 1932. It's safe to argue that these were valuable cultural artifacts, but they were in fact worth a huge sum. Given how valuable these artifacts were, it's safe to say they were worth more than $1 million. However, what anyone didn't expect to learn is that they were actually estimated to be worth between $74 and $98 million. Can you believe how much that cost? Taking their monetary and cultural values into account, it's no surprise that this was such a heated case. So how did the couple react after being accused of stealing the artwork? The Le Guinics weren't going to back down without a fight. Did you know that both sides battled this for nearly 10 years? Yes, we were being serious when we said they weren't going away that easily. However, there was one thing that set the two parties apart. Claude Picasso was always consistent with his story, saying the couple had stolen some of his father's art. Pierre's story, on the other hand, changed after a couple of years. This is the part where the couple messed up that only made things worse for them and further proved they weren't innocent at all. According to Pierre, it wasn't actually entirely a gift, but something else. He claimed that he'd stored 12 garbage bags worth of Picasso's art for Jacqueline until she eventually went back to claim them. Out of kindness, and as a way of showing her thanks, she allowed the couple to keep some paintings for themselves. Eventually, this was the story Pierre stuck with. Seems pretty strange, right? People wondered why Jacqueline wanted the art hidden in the first place, and out of all the people, why ask this couple? According to the Le Guin's story, Jacqueline had asked them to hold on to the art because she wanted to stop her stepson and Picasso's son Claude from getting his hands on the valuable pieces. After years and years of battling it out in court, the verdict was finally announced in 2015. The court found the couple guilty of stealing Picasso's artwork and sentenced them to two years of suspended jail time. This meant that if the couple decided to follow the straight and narrow, they wouldn't need to serve any real time. However, our story doesn't end here just yet. After all, we're talking about a stubborn couple here. Even after the court found them guilty of stealing valuable pieces of art after fighting for nearly 10 years, they weren't ready to give up just yet. For them, this was just another bump in the road. The Laganex stood by their claim that these were all gifts and decided to appeal the case. In their eyes, they were an innocent couple that was wronged by the court and by Claude and so, our story continues. <laughs>